So it's a little bit later on in the afternoon and you might be able to tell because the camera is shaking that I am beyond nervous right now. I'm just feeling a lot of anxiety, my stomach really hurts and I just I have the shakes and just dizzy and anyway my nurse, or not nurse, my patient coordinator who is, has been handling like the communication with the surgeon's office and stuff just called and to act like to tell me like the final prepping things I need to do tonight but she asked if I was excited I said no not at all I'm nervous and she's like even just a little bit of excitement I'm like no no excitement right now like nervous regretting my decision to do this complete anxiety like just feeling absolutely horrible at the moment I don't even know how I'm gonna handle it tomorrow and my mom and my sister aren't allowed to be there like in the recovery room which takes about two hours and I'm a big baby and I do so much better when my mom and my sister well not my sister's usually not there with me but my mom is there like we fought our way into a lot of things like we had to fight for my mom to be in the room holding my hand when I had my first spinal tap we had to fight our way to get my mom to come in when I had my first MRI and hold on to my foot like now I can do that sort of thing by myself the MRI but um this like I don't know when you wake up and you're gonna be in pain and they make you walk around and make you take drinks like I want someone to be there and I just know it's gonna make me more upset if they're not so I just figured I'm not gonna bring it up now I asked if they could they said no so tomorrow when I'm there and I start crying maybe they'll feel bad for me anyway I'm nervously rambling on so I'm gonna stop this now um, gotta pack up um, and get some things and then we're gonna be off to Toronto my mom and I are just shopping for a few things that we need for my post-op care. So we have them at home when I get home tomorrow. Apparently everybody says stock up on gas acts. Because once, it, like I said, they fill you full of all that air and you just feel like crap. Now we're heading into the grocery store to see if we can find some like broth, jello, and sugar-free popsicles. I know they have sugar-free popsicles in the States, but I don't know if they've brought that new technology to Canada yet. The sugar free <laughs> popsicle technology. I don't know because nobody from around here thought they had. It's pretty complicated. It is very complicated. How you, it's kind of like the sugar if you. Out of, a, out of a popsicle. Apparently, the technology is not out in Canada yet because I cannot find a sugar free popsicle. I really. People say make your own, but like, really, that's too complicated for me. Krista is finally ready for the day. And you look so pretty. Are you going to fight for your right to come to the recovery room? Well, Are you going to fight us. for your right to come to the recovery room? So my dad came upstairs quickly um, to see me before we leave to go um, to Mississauga to have the surgery. Anyway, he asked if there was anything that I would like him to get for me so I can have it when I get home tomorrow. And I told him I'd like a new Michael Kors watch. And he wasn't so into it. But the thing is, this is the problem, and it's my parents' mistake. When I was young, I was probably like, I don't know, I think it was in kindergarten, so maybe like six, five, six. And I was super sick. Like, I had this nasty flu with like a bad fever, anyway, for like two weeks. And my parents told me if I got better, they would buy me a dolly whose hair grew. Like, you know those ones that used to be able to like wind up the arm and then like pump it and the hair would go? So ever since then, in my mind, if you're having something medically done, you get a present for so it. So Krista was just asking me whether her shirt was too wrinkly, which it's it not. Is. But I, Krista, it's like, it's not wrinkly at all. You're so stupid. Anyway, I said no. And it's not like even if it was, we're going to be in the car and then we're going to be in a hotel room. I said we're not going to be cup or coupling. You we're not going to be. It. I hate to do it. Just go through it. Gets annoying. <laughs> Why gets annoying? The fact that I can't say words properly. No, the fact that then you go back on it. Because I want them to know that I don't mean coupling. No, I know. Say the real word, but then you always have to say what you're trying to say. Like if you're trying to say baby, but you start saying bray. Well, not bray, right? <laughs> such a bitch. I have fibro fox. Sometimes my words get mixed up. You're so mean. Anyway, I said it's not like we're going to be clubbing and then she said I am and then show us how you club. Just do it. No, do it. No, but you did like a song. You're like, don't, don't. Like, I thought you made noises. Do it one more time. You can do the music. Do it. I don't know clubbing music. I'm too old. Just do it then. Just do it one more time. No, like for real, you're cl you don't have to show this necessarily. Just do it. I don't know how. I just want. To... <laughs> there you go. Oh, I got a pain in my arm. 
<laughs> You're too old to club too, apparently. Thanks. You're so mean. Well, then we're cutting that part out. <laughs> nope, we're not. Well, I, you don't have it right. It's not annoying that you don't get the words right. It's, well, it's not even annoying. It's just what you say. Chrissy, you jumped like, oh my goodness. I have to show you your reaction because you know how I always say you. <laughs> but, like, it's the same sort of reaction when you find something really funny. Like, I always say that you do that. Don't! <laughs> Oh, you don't say what? I said they don't see it because you're behind the camera. They can hear me, dumbass. Anyway, it was a funny reaction. Say bye. Remember when Alicia wanted everybody to know what a nice sister she was because she shared her <laughs> pharma plus bag with me? Well, I think I'm a nicer sister because look what I'm doing for her. I'm taking off her toenail polish. I think that makes me a bit nicer than a girl that shares a plastic <laughs> bag. Okay, but no lady came here and commented on how nice you were. Oh, I'm bring I was the so Mom! <laughs> I was so nice that that the lady had to stop what she was doing if and that comment. If the lady was here, she would probably applaud me. <laughs> I get like a standing, standing ovation. ovation. So we're just watching that cuz we find ourselves funny. Probably everyone else is like they're idiots. But Krista thinks she makes us. And I think I make us. This is you're dry. You're like, us. oh, I'm in traffic. This is, oh, this is my shake. These are my veggies. <laughs> this is my show. I have, like, instructionary. How much is a dog in the window? <laughs> I'm here for Beyond and Bed Bath & Beyond. No, I'm the one who's, like, funny. I'm more so, lively. In the comments below, <laughs> since we don't get enough comments, who makes the show? <laughs> <laughs> the show. We'll be a show soon enough. <laughs> That would be amazing. Me and Chris have dreams of becoming the Kardashians. So we finally made it to the hotel that we're staying at um, the night before Alicia's surgery. The drive wasn't bad for me. I think it was bad for Alicia. I've told Krista that if she wants to be a good sister and take my mind off of my anxiety and the fact that we've been waiting in the car for like 10 years for a hotel room, that she should let me read her text, her BBMs between her and Alfredo. Are you going to let me, Krista? I'm reading through to see. She's reading through just to make sure there's no sexting no. text on there. You're an idiot. I know there's not. I don't know if you can see, but this is the aftermath of carrying up all the luggage. Because it took forever. We had to go all the way down one hallway and then all the way the other way. With my backpack on my shoulder digging in. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but it really hurts. So I surprisingly am actually not feeling too bad right now. If I think about it, like right now, thinking about it, my stomach is really nervous. But Krista was generous enough to loan me some Ativan, which is like basically for anxiety. And so I'm not feeling too bad because I've had a couple of those tonight. So we are going to turn in uh, for bed now. But I will see you in the morning. Hopefully I will be feeling this calm in the morning. Um, but either way, I'm making Krista tape everything that happens tomorrow, all the parts that she's there for at least, so you will see us tomorrow. Anything you have to say? Good night. Anything you want to say? Good night. Mom? <laughs> good night! <laughs> my mom just reached out to plug in my light, and she got <laughs> gross old hotel stinky gunk on her arm. Mom, don't do it like that. Why is your arm all rashy? I know. Because, you know what? Because instead of you helping me out, you have to run and get the camera. <laughs> is it gone? You tell me. I don't know. I can't tell. Look. <laughs> you have